Hello, it is me, I'm back. I almost pulled a trick on you guys where I like started the video out in my black dress and then pulled it out and made you guys think it was a black screen video, but I'm blessing you with my presence today. Um, finally, after, how long has it been? Six months, seven months, really long time. Um, Hmm, <laughs> I don't know how much I want to get into what I've been doing and why I've been gone. I think you guys kind of know at this point, but I did just want to kind of pop back in before I start making random videos about random topics and just talk to you guys, catch up. I don't know. I, don't, I just said I didn't want to explain what, what I've been doing, but I guess maybe I can like delve into it a little bit. Um, and actually right now I am at Joey and Daniels and I was supposed to film this video this morning because it's 4th of July I was supposed to film this video this morning after I got ready before I came here, but my ass woke up at 10 30 literally the earthquake in LA was my alarm today and I pretty much shit myself as I woke up confused why my room was swaying back and forth the cats were freaking out hmm so I didn't have time to film this video at home, but since I tweeted yesterday that I was coming back today, I'm like, <sighs> I always do this. I always say I'm gonna do this and then I don't do it. And I do it four days later and it's like, no. Kalel number 25, 25.0 is gonna stick to her fucking word and I'm gonna post this video and I'm just gonna, you know, have a little, a little chat. Um, so how have you guys been? I feel like we need to, we need to get comfortable here. I don't, I'm like holding my camera up right now and I'm kind of just like, you know, I don't really want to do that. So let me, let me lay down. Why does this feel like overly seductive or something? I don't know. I'm just going to go with it. So here's what's up pretty much. I'll give you guys the short story because I think you're probably sick of me complaining about my life when really my life is so blessed so amazing i don't i mean depression doesn't doesn't really care how great your life is it's a chemical imbalance it just happens it happens to a lot of people who are successful and have it all but for whatever reason in their little head life is pure hell or not even pure hell but maybe just kind of like i think numb is a better word you know just i just just floating, just not really feeling anything. Definitely not feeling motivation, I can tell you that much. That was probably my biggest uh, symptom. Z absolutely zero motivation to get up, to talk to anyone, to do anything. Had motivation to eat. <laughs> Definitely had motivation to eat. Um, no motivation to work. Didn't want to be around people, whether it was friends or you guys or just anybody. I really just shut out the whole world. Um, and I took antidepressants, which I really thought was going to turn things around for me. I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm turning to the drugs, which is something I never do, something I pride myself on doing. I don't even take an aspirin if I get a headache. I just don't like pills and powders and things i just i just i don't know my intuition just says no right but i was like listen this shit's out of control i'm not even like I, like my emails are backed up my mailbox is overflowing like my literal mailbox i couldn't even go and get the mail because i just didn't want to move it was just i really to this day i can't explain it i don't know even after like going through therapy and talking to a psychologist and a psychiatrist i don't really understand the root of why now why i mean i guess i kind of know why now kind of it's confusing that's beside the point i went on antidepressants i gave them a fair chance i was on them for three months and i know they say that it affects everyone differently or whatever but I'm just confused how those work for anyone. <laughs> it made me even more or less motivated. Like, <laughs> I was so tired. And granted, like, over time, my body did adjust to them a little bit and I wasn't, like, as tired. The first month that I took them, I literally had to nap twice a day because I was so lethargic. I couldn't, like, and I wasn't even doing anything. Why am I tired when I'm not doing anything? But my brain was just exhausted. I, I just there's really no 
way to make this make sense unless you yourself have battled depression but i was just very very burnt out and tired despite not having done anything for the day so the pills actually made me more tired they did kind of cure my ocd though for a minute which was entertaining uh like i let dishes pile up in my sink i didn't make my bed my bathroom was nasty and if you guys know anything about me in my normal day today i am crazy when it comes to cleaning and organization like my place is always immaculate people think that i'm like a psycho or something because everything is sterile and like just very 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 clean everything is in its place and i like it that way it's like i can i can survive if somebody comes over and they move things or whatever i just put them back when they leave it gives me like a mild anxiety attack but like i'm fine i would say out of a level of zero to ten ocd i'm like a seven like i'm not i don't need to be checked in somewhere <laughs> but I, you know it definitely disrupts my daily life and it's not the best so it was interesting that that medication calmed me down and like kind of got rid of my intrusive thoughts i just but it, at the same time it just it universally made me not give a shit about anything as if i already kind of didn't you know like the, when the depression hit me i kind of just lost motivation i stopped caring to reach out to people i stopped caring about a lot of things that a human should care about um but then the medication i still didn't really care and then i also was just too tired to even think about caring so it, it was almost like a double whammy like it was like the depression was one weight it was 10 pounds and then the pill was 20 pounds and all of a sudden i'm just like not today i'll do it tomorrow not today tomorrow i don't know but it was bad it was really bad and so i made the decision about a month ago that i was done taking the pills i'm like on the phone with my parents and i'm like listen you know like my mom keeps asking me when are you gonna post a video when are you gonna post a video and i literally just keep saying mm, next week next week next week my mom's like how are you gonna pay your rent <laughs> I'm like i don't know and at that point you know you would think that you'd be kind of like kicked into high gear like okay um my savings are dwindling i need to work it's ridiculous that i've gone six months without working um but for some reason it's still like while i was on the medication it didn't phase me that my bank account was dwindling i was like whatever i'll figure it out that was like my attitude about everything i was just like whatever it is what it is i'll figure it out my parents are like <laughs> texting me every day like me and dad are gonna we can come down and get you and you can come live at home for a few months and just kind of get things together and have some family time and stuff which like granted yeah like i probably could use some quality family time i've i've flown out and seen my parents um during this break but i'm like mom i'm not <laughs> i'm not moving home at 30 years old okay i'm not moving home that's like that's like accepting defeat bitch um so just this past week i've suddenly started feeling like all the weight is coming off of me i don't know why i mean i'm assuming it's coming off of the medication and things are kind of like rebalancing um i just feel a lot more stable my mood feels a lot more stable i feel like i want to get out and do things hence i'm here for fourth of july at joey and daniel's having a fun time with some other uh creators and i don't know things are good and i really this past week the biggest thing i've been thinking about is how much i want to get back to youtube not just for the money as you can see this video is not sponsored um it could have been but i did not want to come back with a sponsored video and i don't want to really do a lot of sponsored videos i want to do kind of bare minimum honestly and uh you guys know i always have some new grand plan <laughs> about what i want to do with my channel i'm a, you know i'm i'm just a wild card and maybe you guys find that interesting and exciting like what is this crazy bitch gonna do next oh. okay sorry uh oh, daniel's friend came in here because this is the this is the room that she's sleeping in but the room that i'm sleeping in didn't have as good of light so daniel said i could film in here but i guess he didn't tell her so she just like walked in anyway what was i saying i have literally no idea what i was saying oh coming back to youtube for money <laughs> oh no i was like i was talking about uh kalel kalel 25.0 
Um, I thought a lot about this and I always do, but this time I had six months to think about it. And uh, I've come to the conclusion that I need to really, truly tell my OCD to just fuck right off. And I wanna make content that's really casual. Um, I really was thinking about once upon a time when I was really passionate about making videos, which was probably like the first four or five years on YouTube. It's been 10 years. And if I'm being completely honest with you guys, um, I would say the past four years or so have literally been about pretty much nothing but an income. Um, obviously I love talking with you guys and connecting with you in the comments, which is why I read so many comments and I leave so many comments. Uh, it's, that is something that I truly enjoy and that I feel like I need because I don't have a lot of friends. And so going back and forth with you guys does make me feel connected to the world. And like, I have this kind of community of online friends and I do really love that. So I would say it's like 20% about that, 80% about the money, um, which like, Please don't hold that against me for admitting and just being open with you guys about because I think in any career, when you're in the same career for 10 years, it does just slowly kind of lose passion and become about surviving. Um, but I don't want to settle for that. I really want to get back to a time where I felt really happy and excited about making content. And uh, my plan is literally just to kind of treat my channel like a collection of FaceTime conversations with each other. I'm just gonna pop in here and there and like if I have something to share with you guys, if I have a story, if I have, mm, you know, like a beauty review or I have just like, I don't want it to feel commercial. I don't want it to feel like everything is sponsored. I don't want it, I just want it to be about connecting and like having laughs together and feeling like raw and candid and fun. I don't know, did I already say that? Did I already say fun? <laughs> I don't know. And so that's my plan for now. We'll see how long I stick to it, if I stick to it. And uh, I realize it's probably not the best plan as far as views and stuff go. I don't think it's, I think this is kind of how like people did their channels back in the day. People are kind of evolving now, but I'm gonna be risky and do a retro throwback to 2009 and have my content be like it was back then but just not with a shitty macbook webcam with an audible fan running in the background um yeah i think it'll be fun and you know i've never been one to give a fuck about views or youtube fame although some people will say otherwise some people will say I used a certain someone to get subscribers and attention and whatever. Uh, but I think it's pretty evident just by looking at my content that I'm not somebody who's like opportunistic with my following. I really have done the bare minimum with my following. And so to me, that seems like probably not somebody who's a user, but you know, you do you. And honestly, it's probably one of my worst nightmares to become super famous online. Like if I had any more than like two or three million followers, I think I'd feel panicked. I'd feel like if I'm going to Target and I look nasty, which I usually do, uh, I would just think, God, someone here probably knows who I am. She, She's looking at me a little too long. I think she knows who I am. And I'd be like paranoid. I'm sure that happens a little bit now, but it doesn't feel like it. You know, and, and I just wouldn't want to have such a big following where it's like everywhere I go, somebody knows who I am. That to me is like, I could never be like traditionally famous. That's terrifying. Anyway, I'm gonna get back outside to everyone. But like I said, I just wanted to pop in and uh, say hi today and meet my damn promise of posting today. Cause I said I back. And my poor mom who just keeps saying, oh, I just wanna see your face. I can't, my mom keeps texting me. I can't wait for you to pose. I just can't contain the excitement. So this one's for you, mom. <laughs> okay, I will see you guys really soon. I miss you, I love you, and I will see you next week.
Bye.